2.5D meshing allows you to create a hex mesh on solids that have opposing faces that are topologically similar. So if I open the tool, I can see that my solids are color coded based on their hex mesh ability. The green solids can be automatically hex meshed, whereas the yellow solids have some sort of mesh constraint that prevents them from being hex meshed. So I can see that I have a different mesh on these opposing faces of this cylinder. The red solids have geometry that isn't simple enough to be hex meshed and will need further modification. So if I take a look at this yellow solid, if I delete this mesh off this other face, I can now see that it turns green and it's ready to be hex meshed even though the one face is already meshed. This existing mesh will be respected by our hex elements. For this red solid, I'll need to make additional changes and I could defeature the solid to make it simple enough to be hex meshed, but if I want to model it with these features, I can go ahead and split the solid into constituent cells. So I'll open my split tool. I'll go ahead and turn on my color display to show which geometry is 2.5D. Now I'll split my solid using a plane defined by three points and my behavior will be set to partition. So these resulting cells will be part of my original solid. So I'll select the geometry to split, then click my middle mouse button and now I'll select this point here. So I'll split the solid there. Click my middle mouse button and now I can see that it is split into two green component cells. So when I return to my 2.5D meshing form, I can see that all of my solids are green, including this one which is made up of two separate cells, this one which already has a mesh on one face, and this one which has a mesh seed along one edge. So all of these are able to be hex meshed. So I'll go ahead and open the 2.5D meshing form and select all of them and create my hex mesh.